my lifestyle would not have indicated to me that something dramatic was going on inside of me. It was a tiny tumor like this that turned Gabriel Canales' life upside down. Gabe Canales was diagnosed when he was just 35. He had no family history and didn't fit any high-risk criteria. When I found out that I had prostate cancer, it was shock. I didn't really have anyone close to me that's had cancer. I knew nothing about prostate cancer. I had never heard of it. More than 65% of all prostate cancers are diagnosed in men who are 65 years or older. Some people consider prostate cancer an old man's disease. Younger men are being diagnosed more often. This is just not an old man's disease. It is actually the most commonly diagnosed cancer among American men and takes about one life every 18 minutes. It's more commonly diagnosed than breast cancer. It is the most commonly diagnosed male cancer in America. This year, over 34,000 dads, husbands, brothers, and sons will die of prostate cancer. And doctors felt like a lot of it had to do with diet and lifestyle. I didn't hear that message anywhere. So Gabe became one man on a mission to educate. A Houston man has started a campaign to call attention to prostate cancer. After being diagnosed at the young age of 35, he sprung into awareness and into action. I am crisscrossing this country so that I can call attention to a disease that needs a greater spotlight put on it. To encourage the adoption of healthier lifestyle and dietary habits, because so much of this is also preventable. There is a, an entire message that needs to be communicated to men about what to do before you ever get prostate cancer. Prostate cancer prevention begins when men are boys, so we have to reach a much younger generation. It's never too early mm -hmm. and never too late to start lifestyle prevention. I never really considered how my diet and my lifestyle would impact not just my game, but my life, you know, after basketball. Anthony decided to join the movement. He approached Gabe about forming a basketball team. The team would be called Blue Cure. Every time they hit the court, it serves as an inspiration for others. Obviously, cancer is a life-altering disease, and no one wants to get it. So if you can prevent it when you're younger, then you should do everything that you can to prevent it. What is causing these cancers, and then are there ways that we can prevent it? We need to be more proactive as far as preventative lifestyle and dietary habits. All the hormones, antibiotics, pesticides, herbicides, and fungicides are leading to a rise in cancer rates across the board. We need to also think about the things we put on our bodies. My doctors believe that contributed to my cancer. we got to encourage the adoption of healthier dietary and lifestyle habits. The best way, if you're not getting screenings, is prevention. We have an obesity epidemic in this country and obesity is tied to not only prostate cancer but it's also tied to other chronic health conditions. The diet that's good for your prostate is also good for your heart. You get cancer for two reasons. There's genetic reasons and there's dietary reasons. The main issue with prostate cancer is diet and men who live in America that's where the highest instance of prostate cancer is. We need to have a national conversation on this. And now he started a foundation. It's to help raise awareness. Gabe Canales is the new face of prostate cancer. He launched the nonprofit Blue Cure Foundation. He created Blue Cure Foundation, which is the men's side of the women's pink movement for breast cancer. You're putting a new face on prostate cancer. It is yeah. not an old man's disease. It's not. If you see someone wearing this shirt and it says Blue Cure. Celebrities Fran Drescher, Bob Saget, local uh, athletes like Matt Schaub who have backed the cause and they're wearing these t-shirts. You've been in the public eye for so long now. People want to talk to you. I was asked recently at the gym, what should I do? I said, you're 26 years old. Here's what you can do. Engage in preventative lifestyle habits. June kicks off Men's Health Awareness Month and one cancer survivor has this message for everybody. This message is about empowerment. I want people to know about prostate cancer before they ever get it. Yeah. I want them to know that they can make a difference with their own lifestyle choices, with their own dietary choices, and know that they can lower their chances of ever getting not just prostate cancer, but heart disease, stroke, diabetes. And Blue Cure's mission is the topic of a nationwide documentary about the anti-cancer lifestyle. Awareness is very low, so it's important that we get this message out there. It's Blue Cure. It is a movement. Yeah.